Hi everyone and um, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool tuxedo card or tux card. Um, I've designed it so that it's shaped at the top but I will show you you don't have to do that stage if you want it to be square. Inside you could put a little pocket and have a tag in there or alternatively you can put a whole piece on the back and write your message on there. But it's also really good for weddings don't forget and grooms cards things like that best man but just a really good one for Father's Day and Dad's and someone special in your life. So that's all it is. It's a seven by five inch card. It's a gatefold card. And let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So in terms of the size of card that you need, you're going to need a piece of card in black that is 10 inches by seven inches. Okay, so that's 10 by 7, but make it just a slightly little bit bigger than 10 inches. And the reason for that is that we're going to be putting a 5 by 7 inch piece of card in the centre and you want to have a little bit of an allowance for the score lines. So if you don't make it slightly bigger than 10, like it's only just over, then it may not fit. So you just need that and then from that waste white card that you've got you can cut down another strip that's half inch long and also one inch wide and slightly shorter than the card in the center it can be the same but then you're gonna have to be a little bit more accurate so cut it down a little bit shorter so that's a five inch by one inch a half inch by it doesn't matter about the length we're going to chop it down and five by seven inch and ten by seven inch but just over ten inch and then just a quarter inch strip of black card and I've just put black line, uh, sorry, red line, a tape on the back there ready to use that for the pockets, etc. So what you need to do is just start with your card and I'm just going to make the score line so I can move the scoreboard out of the way. And um, what you're going to do is you're just going to score it two and a half inches in and then spin it around and score it two and a half on the other side. It's not going to meet 100% in the middle, but that doesn't matter. And then you just need to make your scores good. So just fold it in like this. And then this section into the centre. So it's very close to being touching, but not 100%. That's fine. So I'll just get rid of the scoreboard. So now I've taken my um, 5 by 7 inch piece of card. And on the five inch side, I've just worked out halfway with my ruler using my mat underneath, but you can measure in two and a half in inches each side and find the center point. And then just make a little mark at three quarters of an inch. I'm going to sl slightly move it over because my pen's a little bit thick. So you want it to be in the center. So that's at three quarters of an inch. And then you need to mark at one inch from the center. So I'm using this line here on my mat otherwise you measure in one and a half inches do a little mark there and one and a half inches from this side and do a little mark there so that's an inch out from the center or one and a half in from the end it doesn't really matter so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut straight down that center so to that point so i'm just going to cut straight down the center to the point so line up the scissors so that they're going to end on the dot that you've created and you, you haven't got to make multiple mini cuts. So just go straight down like that and then you've got your cut. Make sure this is the reverse of your card with the marks on or if you've used a pencil, rub them out. Um, but because it's the reverse, before I do that, I'm just going to make my score lines and I'm just using my ruler. I'm just going to pick up this piece here. I might need a paper tool, I can't get my nail under there. And then just fold that back, so just like that. Fold it back and then you can push it right down like so. And then again on the other side, just join, up, join the dots. On this side, oops. Should get there in a minute. <laughs> like that. And then just flick that up, push it against your ruler get it going and then finish it off that is the wrong side so I'm just flipping it over and pulling them back this way I just it's the wrong side because I don't want to have those marks on there so you can see we've got a tuxedo collar on our card so nice and simple to do 
Um, I won't do it yet, but I do like to put a couple of little foam pads under there because I just think it adds a little bit of dimension to it, which is nice. Um, so the next stage for this is to add your strip of half inch. So again, you can you know where halfway is on there, so you can line up the centre line halfway and make sure this is within like that. And then you're just going to put a bit of tape on there and just add your strip to the centre there. Do that bit next. I'm just going to do mine with a bit of tape, a bit of finger lift tape. Just finding the edge of my roll. Bear with me, please. I'm just going to lay some tape just down the centre like that. And then remove it and add this to the centre. And don't worry that you might see the, the top corners because you, you won't when the ribbon's on there and things like that. So just pop that down there. I don't think my carb is straight, so it won't be very straight, but we get the idea. So like that. Turn your card over because it's always easier to cut from the back. And just snip off any excess there. That's that bit done. Next, we're going to add our ribbon. So I've got a reel of ribbon. I'm going to do the red satin again because that's what I did. But obviously you can choose any colour. So it'd be really cool for weddings. And then what I do is I just add a bit of tape. And I let it overhang. Sorry, not the tape overhang, the ribbon overhang. So I just add one bit of tape at a time. Pull it down. It's up to you how many of these you want to do and how thick your ribbon is and what determine that. So I just like it to overhang the sides a little bit. So just going like that. Take your ribbon scissors because you should always keep a pair of scissors for cutting ribbon. But never, ever let anyone in the family use them for cutting anything else other than ribbon. You can always tie a little bit of ribbon to the handle. Nobody comes in here. Not without my permission. <laughs> I've had my husband grab a pair of scissors before that have been my ribbon scissors. I'm like, hey, no way. I can get you some, but it's not going to be those. They just stay nice and sharp. So then you just overlap it so I'm there. And you're only overlapping it very, very slightly. Otherwise, the top ribbon will look a lot different in size to the others. So we'll do four. Bit of tape wouldn't go amiss, would it? This one, and rub it down, put it on so it's straight, and then come down a little bit just to get that tiny little bit of overhang. Three, and I'm going to make it four, four like that. Line it up so you can see the white and then come over so you can overlap that a little bit more. It's not necessary to do this, but I don't know why I'd uh, chop off the ribbon straight. Flip over your card and you can put those up so they don't get ruined, but they should be all right anyway. And then just put some tape only where the ribbon's going to go on there and then i'll do two because i'm pretty sure it'll reach two you can use red liner for this any of your preferred tapes but if it's glue it's gonna have to be a fabric one otherwise it takes ages to dry and sometimes it doesn't hold and then just one by one starting at the bottom flip it over and make sure it doesn't come over the bottom line of the card you can see a bit of white there which is fine because I'd rather that. And this is another reason why you need that black card to be a little bit bigger to allow for this ribbon up the side. I'm just going to put this one in actually. Make sure that one's not going to get caught. Just flip them all over. And then you've got a nice tidy front. Now to add some buttons to the shirt. So you just take some gems or whatever you want to use. And what I like to do, and I do do it by eye and you can measure, that's fine, is I just take the first one and I put it near the bottom where I want it, the bottom one to be. And then I put the top one near the top. You should put your ribbon on first probably, but your bow tie. And then what I do is I centralise roughly where that is. 
and then put one other side of that central like between these two so one between those two and I've not pushed them down firmly so if I'm not happy I can move them so let's have a look turn it around to face me yeah they're not too bad are they and then I take a fabric glue and I'm using the 450 quick dry adhesive. I'm in the UK. I used to buy this when I lived in Australia and it is um, US inside. So I expect you can get it. I got mine on Amazon UK and it just attaches ribbons really well. You still have to wait. So I've made a little bow tie and then I've used this glue just to I've cut the ends off and I've used this glue just to adhere them to the back so that they're not going to stick out at all. I'll just add a bit of this glue let's open it up and you want to make sure this glue stays closed because it will dry out it is good but it can dry out don't want to come out there we go it's kind of like um quite gloopy glue gloopy glue <laughs> and then you just pop your bow tie in place on there and you i like to have it over those um, little collars so put it back down like that there we go what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of foam pads just on that collar just trying to find my little ones just to hold that collar in place because it's making the bow pop up so I'm just going to remove that for a second and just put a, um, just a little foam dot I not think of the word stick there we go. Now it's in place so it won't move anymore and push the ribbon out of the way. And then pop my ribbon back on my bow. Just give it a squash. You can see some ends there. So I need to get rid of those. That's why I was showing you and I've made it fray. See that glue's taken already. There we go get rid of the bits of ribbon so there we go that's our card part done just blow by those little pieces so that's the um the insert if you like it's going to go on there now we're going to go on to this base card again and what we're going to do is that one inch strip we're just going to tape that down to the top of our card so i'm pulling the top towards me just because it's easier for me to work on and then i'll flick it around in a minute so I'm not going to put my tape all the way to the ends. Oops. Just gonna <clears throat> that wants to stay with me a little bit of ribbon. Just trying to find out where the score lines are. Being black card, it's quite hard to see score lines. So I think I'm in there. Should have had a white underneath bit. Hope so. It's close. Not quite close enough, but it will do. So what that's doing is when I put my um, card back into the inside, you wouldn't have a black bit showing because it's the back of the neck. So it's nice to have that little bit of white just behind there. So you can see it doesn't have to be that big. That's all it's for. So when that goes in there like that, then just check it's going to close and it'll be fine. So I'm just going to use um, some tape. Right. Pop it onto here, like this. And like I say, adhesives are your choice. Finger lift is quick and easy for me. And you can put as much or as little on. And you can also use finger lift and then add some wet glue as well to get it permanently. It, the, it's good because the tape gets it going and the wet glue finishes the job later. Make sure it doesn't come up. No, I'm probably moving that ribbon around doing it that end. Let's come down this end. Because the ribbon's there, it's hard to pick it off the ribbon. Okay, there we go. And then we're just going to put this into the card. Now, if you're going to make any mistakes, it's probably better not to make them at the bottom because you're not going to be able to cut the card with ribbon on because it will fray. So just get it lined up to the base in between those score lines nicely, like that. And just make sure the sides are going in. Okay, like that. 
So there we go, we've got our base inside. So you can see that the card's coming together. Now you can leave it like this. You can just trim off those little white bits that are overhanging, but to be honest, I'm gonna cut mine so it doesn't matter. But if you wanted to leave it more like this and just fold back the sides, then you can. So all you need to do with the sides is you're gonna measure in a quarter of an inch and a half inch roughly. Now this isn't, you know, it doesn't have to be like this. So I know I've turned my card sideways. So if I come down a quarter, I can see it's about there. And I'm just going to put a little dot like that. So it's just going to be a quarter of an inch in and half inch down. So I'm just using my mat, giving me a rough guide. So I know that a quarter of an inch is there and half an inch is there. And I'll put a little dot. What we're going to do is snip away those two little pieces. And we're going to snip around that dot because we don't want to see the dot. So I'm just going to come down and snip. And make sure I get that white dot out of the way. And then this way, like that. Just take that little bit out, a little bit more that way. There we go. And then in here, same thing. Get down to the dot. Snip across under the dot and get that dot. If the dot's still remaining after you've done that, just take a little bit more off. Just don't have the dot there because it will show on your finished card. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure in, and I'll use my scoreboard I think for this, we could use a ruler, but I'm going to show you on the scoreboard because I'm going to use indentations, but you can use marking lines. So in from the edge, we're just going to make a little indentation at one, and I'll spin it over actually because um, you can see the white card there, it won't be shown in a minute. One. And then on the sides, you've got to make sure you're coming from that where you've cut that little notch out. That's got to be to the left and you measure four from the top. So there, we've got a little indentation at four. I'm going to flip it over. A little indentation at four there. And then all you need to do is find a line on your scoreboard and you line up the one and then use my scoring tool to hold it and then line up the four and make a mark down like that. Same on the other side. One and four. Make a mark down like that. And then we're going to squish it out like this. And you can see you've got that jacket shape nicely put into your card. So this is where you can leave it. When you've got to this stage, you can just leave it like that. Chop off the ex excess white at the top and that'd be fine to go. So it's entirely up to you. Um, we have got other bits we're going to add to the front, like the um, little, I'm going to show you how to make this double pocket hanky. And there are, I don't know if you can pick them up, there are a couple of little pocket lines just there, just little bits of the card that I cut off earlier. So we'll just go ahead and do these two now. The other thing you can do, by the way, is on here you can use a Versamark or a watermark stamp and make it go a little bit shiny. And on the strip of three quarter inch black that we've got, you could do it on there as well to make those go shiny. So we've got to that stage. So now I'm going to show you how to make the ribbon. I might leave the scoreboard just there actually. So to make the pocket ribbon, I've got my little strip here and I've got some red liner tape. And it's really good to use red liner tape for ribbon. So all you need to do is grab your ribbon and you're going to make the ends. So you get it like that, straight in finger and thumb and flip it like that to make a loop. So you're just bringing those two forward like that. I'm going to move the end up and then all you do is make sure these two are together and you squash that down. And you can see you've got your little pocket there. So then when you've got, you'd have your red liner tape ready, not like me. When you've got your red liner tape, you can just put it across the base of that piece there. Hold it down. Just put it across the base like that and that'll hold that in place. And then you can wrap it around the back as well if you want for extra strength. And then if you were doing a double, I won't do it again on this demo, but if you were doing a double, you'd obviously just make another little one, put it to the side. And then again, make sure you're not cutting off that front bit. And then just cut down there and there you've got your little pocket so this is why we're using this black strip now so the black strip that you cut that was three quarter of an inch my i know that this tape liner is the same size so we'll be fine with that and i have added tape liner to the back so i'm gonna have to remove it from both 
So I'm just going to take it off the back like that. And all the way around because I did it in one go. Get it off the back and front. And then obviously the seam, you want to be at the back sticking to the card. So just make sure that your card, I've got to take that off of here, haven't I? Make sure that your card, I'm only going to put it back a bit because I'm going to cut it down. So I'm just going to put that on there, like that, and like that. There you go. So you've got your little pocket of ribbon. I'm going to pull it up a little bit because I can see there's a bit missing, a bit showing even. And just give that a snip down. Like that. And then I'm going to use my ribbon scissors just to tidy up that little piece there because it's overhanging. You could fold it back onto the tape if you wanted, if you've got any bits like that. Let's take the wrong way. And then we're just going to, you can just place it wherever you like. I'm just going to pop mine there. Like that, just try and make sure it's straight. I'm doing it by eye. And then these two pieces, well, not two pieces. If you cut them straight on the end, and then I'm just going to use my scoreboard here. I'm going to cut them at about one and a half. And then another one at one and a half. Just make them even because they're going to be the pockets on the front. And they definitely make sure you've got straight edges. So it'd be easier to do it with the trimmer. I'm just going to try and get this red line of tape off. And you can just place them where you want them to be. I don't do any measuring for any of this. I just eyeball it. So I've lined it up with that ribbon there. So I'll do the same on the other side. I think this is the one and a half. Yep. I think they both turned out to be one and a half. Oh, not quite. There we go. Pop this one over to this side. So get it the same distance from there. Pop it down. Like that. So there you go. That's how you make that card. So I hope you can have a go at this and thanks for subscribing. Oh, actually, there's one more stage because that's if you want the card to stay like that. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. So just take some scissors. And what you're going to do is you're going to come in an inch. So I'm going to measure again. I'm going to use that line because I've got that extra white card. So I'm going to measure just inside of an inch because I, I want to lose it. Just inside of that black line for that inch there. And then all you're going to do to angle it, if you prefer the angled look, is you're going to leave that down and you're just going to come inside so you won't see the white, that collar, and snip it off. So I'll come back this way. I'll get a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So where we made that white mark, I've got to go past that and I'm going from this score line here. And don't worry that you're taking a bit of extra lapel off. And just drop it down like that so then you've got a nice even shape and i think that's more like of a man's shape the way that the collar goes and the neck and everything so i like to trim mine down but obviously you don't have to so there you go i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching the other thing i did do on my other one was i did put a little bit of tape just inside here just to hold the lapels down so just take a little bit of tape Put the liner off, just squash it down and then they just stay in place then because that one is springing up quite a bit so it just gives it a better look. So like I say, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and comment and thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon and do enjoy making these. There we go, all finished. Okay, thanks very much. Bye. <laughs>